um, you don't necessarily have to have any prior travel experience because when I got my visa, I hadn't traveled before. My French visa was actually the first time that was ever in my passport. Oh, so one thing you should know is that the visa is given for the duration of your study. So if your study is one year, you get one year visa. Actually, the visa is given for just one year and based on the duration of your study, you keep on renewing it. So if your program is two years, you get one year. After the one year, you renew it. And after your program, if it's a master's education, it's possible to ask for another kind of visa which is called an APS which helps you to look for a job so once you are done with your masters you have one year to look for a job if you get a job you can renew your visa to a work visa if not you have to return to your home country Hello guys and welcome to my channel. It's um, been a while and all those that actually reached out to me showing their appreciation and giving me some video suggestion. Um, I'm really grateful like reading from you. It's, it's really nice like to know that um, people are actually getting impacted by what I'm doing. So somebody reached out recently and they wanted to know how to apply for a visa. So you've applied for the schools, you've gotten it, and now you want to know how do you apply for the visa. The good thing is like it's it's online. So the first step is for you to go to the France visa or there's official website to apply for the visa. But first you have to check if indeed you need a visa. So this is the first step. Do you need a visa? you click on it your nationality i'm ghanaian so let me use ghana uh, my age um, let me just use something arbitrary so 24 i'm not 24 so are you a friend spouse no do you join or travel with a family member no based on your situation you can choose what's appropriate your stay where would you be submitting your application you could be a nationality of one country but you'll be submitting your application in another country so let me still choose ghana your visa type is a long stay because you're a student you're going to stay for more than 90 days and your main destination of stay where are you going to stay you'll be in france and these are the other regions and um, the other territories of france so you just choose france your travel document being issued by ghana and um, which document are you going to use um, ordinary passport or you choose what is required of you then you click on the search so based on the information that you have you have given, it shows that you do need a visa to travel to France unless you meet these requirements. Your plans. What do you want to go do there? No, sorry, you study. Your main purpose of stay, your student, you search. I'll tell you the kind of documents you will need. So these are the things you will need to start the application. You need application form, you need your travel document, your passport. You need your fans visa receipt, um, your ID photograph, and your proof that you are legally resident in that country. So let's say if you are Ghanaian but you are currently staying in Togo, you need to show that you are legally allowed to stay in Togo. And your purpose of travel, if it's what you, you need that, maybe this will be your application, the registration document from the school, and you need to show a proof of accommodation. This is really, really hard to get for the first three months. It could be a hotel reservation, um, undertaking from a host like your school has given you a place to stay, or an explanation letter from the student. Maybe you're going to stay with family. Um, during my time, they didn't accept all these things. They only accepted the proof that you actually have a place to stay, but now they're accepting hotels and if you have a family. So I think it's a step in the right direction. And you need to show proof of funds. The minimum is 615 euros. So you multiply by the number of years or period you've been in France. And how do you show this? You need a certificate of scholarship or a bank statement showing a deposit in a French bank account or an undertaking to assert financial liability from a guarantor who must provide proof of adequate, reliable, and regular income as well as a copy of the ID document. So basically, if you have a scholarship, the scholarship should amount to the amount you need. If it's less, you you subtract the amount let's say if it's eight thousand euros or seven thousand euros i think i had to show seven thousand so let's say it's seven thousand euros 
you have a scholarship of 5,000 euros, you need to show a proof of funds of 2,000 euros to include to get your 7,000 euros. If your scholarship is more than 7,000 euros, um, you are good to go. And um, you need to open an account that is um, a closed account, so a domiciliary account. So it said that the account is closed and you've agreed that when you move to France, this amount of money would be transferred to a bank. You need to pay the application fee, which is 99 euros, which is approximately seven or eight Ghana cities at the point of payment. And if you belong to these countries, you have to pay 50 euros. And um, Ghana is not part of mostly the some part of one country. So you just check if your country is done. So you just follow the prompt and register. Once you create um, the account, an email is sent to you where you can verify your email and a temporary password is also given to you where you can use for your first login. Once you are done, the security question, you have to set a security question that helps you to assess your account just in case you have any issues in logging in. Once you are done creating the application, then you start, you continue with it. Once you start with the application, your plans, your nationality, you fill in these details according to what works for you. Once you are done, you verify the account, you verify this page. Then you move on to, okay, so you, you need a visa, so you go to next. Yeah, so you confirm it. Your passport details ensure it's right. Then for the next year identity, female, single, the last name. first name okay. your place of birth country of birth That's not my date of birth, I just use choose something arbitrary. Your address where you stay. Let me just put something there. Your your city, car, your country, and uh, your postcode. Not required, you put your email. Fill in the details based on what works for your current job. Uh, let's see. Just choose other. Maybe. Let's choose a job. Let's choose a job. A chemist. Okay, sector. You choose the sector, let's say construction. Your name of employee, your teaching establishment, you put in something. You put in the details. You just fill it based on what works for you or what's true in your case. You put in the email address again. Next. So if you have stayed in France for more than three months, I have, but I don't want it to be cumbersome, so I just click on no. If that's the case, you click on yes, then you have to upload your visa. So, details of your stay when do you plan to arrive in France? Let's say sept September. This gives them a fair idea of when to give you the visa. EEF number. Okay. 
okay so that it's not i mean if you have this you can put it in there do you have a scholarship no if you have yet maybe you should have with a member of your family no you go to next okay so yes you just continue then you contact who um who is accommodating you 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 select which one works for you let's say my hotel place of accommodation you put in the details you giving them the address you put in the city let's say not country france you put in the telephone number you give them an email address who is funding let's say you're funding by yourself your means of sustenance maybe cash you continue the application is quite pretty simple and um, you don't necessarily have to have any prior travel experience because when i got my visa i hadn't traveled before my friend visa was actually the first time that was ever in my passport so you don't really have to worry about the travel experience you just ensure that your documents are set and they are genuine and you have all the documents then you'll be good to go you declare then you continue yes so now you need your supporting documents this is the amount you have to pay you have to take care of all this stuff you continue this is application number so then afterwards you just have to make an application for the visa So on the day of appointment, the documents I've already showed, you need to present all of them. I'm also going to attach a link to the document you will need that you have to submit all of them to the visa center. Once you are done, you just have to submit your applications and you are good. Very quick, very easy, not too stressful. The documents you will need to submit for your application is what you can see on the screen. And also remember, before you book the appointment to the VFS for for your documents, um, you need to visit any um, Campus France office for them to review your documents and also attach an additional document in which you submit on the day of your application. It's very important also with other documents you are going to be refused. So you get all the documents, you look for your Campus France office, you let them review the documents for you, then afterwards you can book an appointment for your visa. If you have any questions, um, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment and share. It helps other people to also see the videos and you do not know who it might help. And thank you. Bye.